<clears throat> Hello, my name is Mark Johnson, and I'm the pastor here at Bowsman Memorial United Church of Christ in Why Missing, Pennsylvania, 1064 Penn Avenue. Here again with you in another little lesson about um, the life of Jesus in our series, Growing in Christ. Uh, here we have a moment where we reflect on the teaching of Jesus and experience in Jesus's life, and then reflect on it and uh, try to apply it to our lives to help us on our way being better followers of Christ in this time and day. Uh, how we relate to people and how we look at people um, is a very important concept. We look at our parents one way, we look at our boss one way, we look at coworkers another way, we can look at friends one way and strangers another way. And based upon how we look at these different people and think about these different people, we behave differently as well. Uh, we do things for people we respect more and feel connected more and, and closer to and value more. There's a temptation anyway to, to treat them better and be more consistent with them. Although that's, that's really not always the case as we all know. And so in our, with that as the background, today Jesus um, is walking to Caesarea Philippi with his, his disciples and uh, I guess to pass the time or just to see what they were thinking, he says, he says, uh, who do people say that I am? What's, uh, what's the word in the street? What's the word in the newspaper? What's the word on television and the internet? Who are people saying that I am? And they answered, well, some say John the Baptist come back from the dead. Some say Elijah, some say another prophet. And, uh, but then Jesus turns it from an intellectual um, exercise into a, a moment of truth for them. But then he says, but who do you say that I am? Not the crowd, not the people, not the TV, not the internet. Who do you say that I am? And Peter answering, or perhaps even answering for the, all of the disciples says, you are not any of those things. You are the Messiah. You are the Christ. You got, you're God's anointed, God's chosen one to fulfill God's plans and purposes uh, for the earth. And so he begins to warn them about um, how to live in light of that understanding and revelation, which, which we won't go into um, uh, because that's later in another lesson. However, uh, because they are thinking of him as the Messiah, as the Christ, as God's chosen one, now the outlook's different. Now the expectations are different. Now the hopes and dreams of Jesus for his disciples are more and different. And so the question for us is, you know, who is Jesus for us? Is Jesus uh, relevant to us? Is he a friend? Is he a teacher? Is he uh, a rabbi, in other words? One who teaches us the way and the truth and the life. Uh, but is he more than that? Is he the Lord? Is he our master? Is he the one who we take our, our clues from and who we listen to whether we like it or not, whether we agree with it or not, because he's the Lord, he's the head, he's our master. Uh, and is he our savior? Is he one who... Um, who saves us from our sins, who in his death and God's resurrection of him on the cross on Easter, um, does, he, does he save us and uh, make us part of God's family? How do you look at, look at Jesus? Uh, where on the scale, this is called Christology, the different names and titles for Jesus, how do you look at him? A friend, a teacher, a Lord, a savior, a brother, a friend? Um, I've had a couple people in my 30 years of ministry want to join a church that I was the pastor of. And uh, when people join as pastor, uh, one of the things they have to affirm is that Jesus is the Lord and Savior. And by that I mean, he's the one as Lord that we take our cues from. And as Savior, he's the one who's made everything all right between us and God uh, through his life and death and resurrection uh, back in the day. Uh, and there have been people wanted to answer no to that, um, to that part. Yes, you know, he's a, he's a friend, he's a, he's a teacher, he's a guide on the journey, but I don't really want to call him Lord and Savior. And, uh, but I'd still like to join the church if I could. And I told him, no, you can't really join the church. You can keep coming. You can keep being a part of everything except voting and being on consistory. You know, keep coming but I can't have you officially join without that. And that's the way I view it anyway. 
because what we say about Jesus and the labels we use for Jesus makes a difference. Uh, so that's the thought for today. God bless you, and, um, and I hope you contemplate today and the upcoming week. You know, who is Jesus? What labels and titles do we use for him? Because the titles we use really can and should make a difference in the way we live. God bless you till we meet again. Bye-bye.